This video introduces the process of setting up the side plate tool within SDS2. To begin, add icons to the SDS2 toolbar. From the main menu, click Utilities, Customize Interface. This opens the Role Configuration selection window. In this video, the default role is customized. However, you will need to determine which role to edit. In the Customize Interface window, select the role to edit, Detailer Modeling in this example. Click Edit next to the Ribbon Configuration dropdown. The Modeling Ribbon Editor window opens. Change the Menu Item Group to Model Parametric and change the Page and Section options to the ribbon location where the side plate icons will be located. In this example, choose the Tools page and add a side plate section by clicking the plus button. Now, in the left hand pane, simply click the plus buttons next to the side plate icons to add them. Next, let's look at the Project Setup tool. In modeling mode, Click Tools, Side Plate Project Setup. A message displays asking you to locate your side plate XML file. Click OK. In the File Explorer window, navigate to the side plate XML file, select it, and click Open. This creates a side plate XML folder in your model folder and copies the file. Note that there is no need to manually move the file. Also, MyTech suggests keeping the original XML file as a backup. The Side Plate Custom Component Terms and Conditions display. Review them, click Accept, and then Next. The Side Plate Project Setup window opens. The first tab, Unsupported Conditions, List miscellaneous connection IDs that need hand modeling or IDs that failed to grid match. The Matching tab displays a list of material, bolts, and shapes. The side plate values are what the engineer designed for. In the Model Values Selection dropdown, select the closest equivalent to match the side plate value from your SDS2 model. For example, in Materials, it lists A572 Grade 50. Open the dropdown and select A572-50. After completing this step, click Update XML to update the file with your selections. The Configuration tab is used to make changes to values as you progress through a job.